How dangerous do you think the Lakers are going to be now that they've gotten through into the uh, into the turn the big tournament, Darius? Uh, I think they're definitely going to be dangerous, but I think Phoenix is with Chris Paul and 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 uh, Dan, I mean uh, Brooks. I think they're definitely going to test they might. Well, how um, how do you see it playing out? I think they're going to go about six. At least six, seven games. I think it's going to be. Uh, it's not going to be a pushover. I think Phoenix then revamped their organization, and they, and they ain't come to play. And I know they ain't come to play with definitely Chris Paul leading them. And um, what did you make of LeBron saying he doesn't think he'll ever be a hundred percent again with his high uh, I, I think make- that's true. You know, you know, we all believe we're a superhero until you know the injuries start getting on us and, and you start slowing down a little bit. I think he's just speaking the truth. Did you uh, ever sense something like that happening with you in your in your career, Darius? Yeah, you definitely. Yeah, you definitely do. I get to that got to that point with my knees that I had that first surgery and uh, I never felt like I was jumping the same. You know, you feel invisible when you can do all your things that you you worked so hard to create in your body, but you know, after injuries and you know, eighty two games every year, you know, you start to slow down a little bit. Do you think uh, – let's talk about your former team uh, and the Clippers, Darius. Uh, I'm with Darius Miles here on the Rich Eisen Show. Third overall selection of the 2000 NBA draft back in the day right here on the Rich Eisen Show. So um, what uh, What did you – do you think the Clippers were, were tanking the last weekend of the season to avoid the Lakers? Do you think that was happening? Uh, I think that's just part of the game. I don't think they were really tanking. I think they were just preparing their guys to – to get ready for this tournament. You always want to put yourself in the best position possible. And, you know, evidently it wasn't about where they was at or trying to get higher. It was about them getting their guys healthy and getting together. So the the concern uh, that we're hearing, do you pay it no mind, no credence, that it sends a message to the locker room that, you know, uh, we want to avoid a certain team because we might have a problem with that team as opposed to we can beat any team that's in front of us? No, I think they got. I think got championship. They got championship pedigree all over their team now with Kawhi and Serge and Tyron Lou. I think that's definitely not the case. With Who's them? I think they're ready to go, and you know they're gonna try to give they put their best foot forward, especially with what happened in the bubble last year. So who's the best team in the West? The Lakers. You didn't stutter. <laughs> yeah, LeBron James and Anthony Davis. It's, 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 you know, they the defending champs. You got to respect that. So you think there's the 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 most dangerous seven seed maybe in the history of seven seeds? That's what you're ever. saying. Ever, ever, it'll never probably be this again. <laughs> it'll never probably be this again. Well, I mean, there's which team do you think could give them the hardest time then? Uh, the Suns and the Clippers. So you think it's like, Lakers and like the Sun, Lakers I like the Suns with Chris Paul, right. the way he controlled the game and he he controlled the pace of the game, and I feel like with the Clippers because uh, with Kawhi PG they got the makeup to withstand them. What about the East? Who do you think is coming out of the East, Darius Miles? Uh, I think Brooklyn, but I think uh, Milwaukee definitely got a, a good chance. Why don't you mention Philadelphia? Uh, I just feel like they're just not over the edge. They ain't got it there yet. Why is that? Uh, they they look good, but I just feel like Giannis and, and Brooklyn look better. Huh. Okay. Uh, when it all comes down to it, who's your MVP of the season, Darius Miles? Give me your MVP. Steph Curry. Why is that? It's just, uh, he, he went on a run, like, he went on a run, an unstoppable run. He looks like the MVP right now. Okay. Like, if you look at the game these last couple of months, Steph Curry would probably be everybody's choice. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.